you know, we look around at it and we see so many problems right now with young kids. You know, even even us old kids. I mean, we had you know some very serious, famous actors die. Philip Seymour Hoffman died not too long yeah. ago from a heroin overdose. And you know, and, and with my company, A Forever Recovery, and we try to we, you know we try to help them to try to get them you know to take the right steps to understand that you know it's it's not just getting off the drugs it's actually a lifestyle change absolutely and well i'm glad you said that because it is a lifestyle change and uh that's why you need the direct intervention you need the education you need the programs to bring the self-esteem up there's a lot to it these your kids you got to understand that uh, you get involved in something that you can't really control you know when you get involved in drugs you can't control it, it right. controls you yeah. and that's the biggest problem and then what happens Hey, you gotta, you gotta look for recovery. Right. Yes. Right. And, and that's what I do. Yes. Yes. And I, and I think that's the fantastic thing that you're doing. Yeah. Well, what's going to happen is that the kids that if they don't get educated, they're going to wind up following the same paths as, as their parents. Right. So we have to take time out to educate them because the kids are our future. The organizations like yours uh, that reach reach out to the to the youth and to the children. Um, I think it's the most important thing that you can do, um, and, and that's that, that's what needs to be done. Let's uh, let's end off, okay? Absolutely. Let's, let's remember that the number one thing to do is to promote togetherness and responsibility for our, not only our constituents but the other people that are out there. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. <laughs>